Hello artists, today we are going to be creating the animals for our totem poles. And you're gonna have a whole stack to choose from, but you're gonna choose either two or three, depending on how big the animals you choose are and how big your roll is. For instance, some of the animals are quite small, um, like this frog right here. You have enough room for three animals if you pick something like that. And if you pick something like this, then you would only choose two animals to create. Once you have chosen all of your animal cards, working on the back side, I need you to write your name and class on all three or two cards. You can see what one looks like when it's all finished. Um, I chose a dog because we have a family dog at home. These are the types of symbols and shapes that the Haida Native Americans would have used to create the animals for their totem poles. So we're gonna create animals that are a little different than what you would normally see, but still using some of the similar colors they can remind you of the animals. Let me show you how you're going to be drawing today. What you have is basically half of an animal. What I'm gonna do is with pencil on the other side of this paper that's blank, is I'm gonna simply recreate the other half of the wing by drawing exactly what I see. We're, I'm gonna go nice and slow. So I see this dip down for a feather, so I dipped that down, I dipped another one down, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feathers, so that's how many I'm gonna draw on this side. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and there's my seventh one. Then I'm going to start to draw the designs that I see inside. And if you don't get every little line that you see, that's going to be okay, but I do want you to try to get most of the design drawn. And that's what it looks like when you're all finished drawing the other half of the image that you see. Now these are eagle wings, so I need to still do the eagle head, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the other half of it as well. I don't feel like that looked as much like an eagle beak, so what I did was I went ahead and added my own point like that so it would look like an eagle beak. So if you need to change your drawing up just a little bit to make it look more like what you want it to, you can feel free to do that as well. And then I wanted to show you what a card like this is. Um, there wasn't a real good way to put the fish in half. So if you have an animal like the fish, there's one here, this fish, and the last one is the snake. They're not in half, so you just have to draw the whole snake over here or the whole fish here or the whole fish here. Now we are going to be using marker to trace your lines. And I want you to pick only one color for each of your designs that you have created. I know you only drew half of it with pencil, but when you're using the markers, I want you to trace over the entire animal. And that's what the animals look like after you have traced them with marker.